In this video, I'm going to talk about more automotive racing, and this time it's going to be Le Mans. Now, you might see it spelled Le Mans, but it, it's French, so you really don't pronounce the N or the S at the end. It's just Le Mans. Anyway, Le Mans is best known for sports car racing. And if you saw something like Steve McQueen racing around a long track, it was Le Mans. It's a 24-hour race held in Le Mans, France. And originally it was a much longer track that went on into the town. It's still a fairly long track. Some five miles long, or eight miles, eight miles, I think. Uh, but anyway, it's one of the longer tracks you could have. There's only one longer track that I know of. And I'll probably discuss that in a future video. But anyway, uh, back to Lamar. You might have also heard about... Uh, Ferrari and Ford racing each other. And that all happened at Le Mans. The GT40 won its fame at Le Mans. It didn't, it wasn't in some other track. It was Le Mans. So anyway, uh, Originally, there were really only one type of sports cars, and that was the car you drove on the street that had been souped up a bit to go a whole lot faster. And then over time, that kind of got, they decided they wanted a faster car. And so they came out with prototypes that didn't have to have a street going equivalent. So, the, and that was called a prototype. Now, you might have also seen a video of Mark Weber and another one of the drivers doing a flip in a Mercedes. That was also at Le Mans. Basically, they're going down this very long straight, nearly half the length of the track, and it's the car just couldn't was getting too much air underneath and it flipped these cars to, were already doing 250 miles an hour now they're probably doing closer to 280 the pro, top prototypes anyway and they go by the the GT cars like they're sitting still. Some of the more recent prototypes were hybrids. In fact, Toyota makes their current championship. It's won Le Mans twice and the championship a couple times. And these hybrid prototypes have a thousand horsepower, potentially. Now, for those of you that might know a whole lot about cars and thinking that a loud car is a fast car, well, not necessarily. See, these hybrids would zip by your loud car. You would hear a Corvette going by with your eyes closed, you know, hey, yeah, that's a Corvette. And then a second later, you'd hear a Porsche, and then you'd hear a Ferrari. And Okay, well, and then you'd open your eyes up and wonder what happened to the Toyota. Well, he went by you a long time ago while your eyes were closed. In fact, he passed all the others. Those cars just aren't fast enough to keep up. 
at one point I remember hearing at one of the Audis when they just got in hybrid power but before they could have all wheel drive these were turbo V6 diesels with the hybrid powertrain all going through the rear wheels they couldn't use the front axle yet and on the turns you would hear these squealing so I thought oh surely the car's out of control but no that's just how quiet the car is you're just hearing the normal tire scrub now the prototypes are divided into two levels LMP1 which is somewhat divided into the hybrid cars and the non-hybrid cars and then below LMP1 you have LMP2 now below that there used to be a variety of classes like GT1, GT2 but the only non-prototype cars currently at Le Mans are GTE GT Endurance and these are basically the street car that you've been driving with a few extra fancy features like a big fit going out back and stuff like that uh, they have to have a escape hatch on the roof and that's in case the driver can't get out any other way. Uh, most of the front engine cars have exhaust right next to the driver's legs and they get quite hot inside. Most of the mid-engine and rear-engine cars though are, have the exhaust going through the bumper or above the bumper because that allows for a big huge diffuser and that diffuser is providing a lot of the downforce now GTE itself is divided into GTE Pro which you can have all pro drivers or and GTM or GTEM, in which case you can only have one pro and the rest of your drivers have to be AMs. Basically, an AM means that it's a person who does normal job nine tenths of the time and they just go racing for the fun of it. The pro, on the other hand, is racing for a living, he doesn't have another job. Well, Occasionally you find a female. Sports cars is one of the few places where you'll find a female driver. Occasionally you'll find one in IndyCar. You'll find some testing in Formula One or NASCAR or something. But that most of the time they're in sports cars. And there aren't very many of them. Now... You race for 24 hours, what they call twice around the clock, and the winner of each class gets a Rolex watch. It's apparently pretty fancy. There's also, oh, to the overall winner, a big, huge trophy. It's five feet tall or so, and it takes three, four people to pick it up. It is heavy, apparently. You don't get to keep it though. You only get it for one year and then you have to return it. However, if you win three years in a row, then you do get to keep it. But anyway, that's the intro to WEC. In the next video, I'm going to talk about IMSA. I'll be back in a few months.